Today we're going to be taking a look at a 6'5 Swiss Army Knife that can really impact the game in a variety of different ways. On offense, he can score from the three-point line, he can put the ball on the floor and make things happen, and on defense, he's able to guard everyone from the opposing team's power forward all the way to their shooting guard. Again, he is somebody who is going to draw a ton of interest just because of his versatility alone. Let's get into the Dontrez Styles breakdown now. Welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about Dontrez Styles, who recently entered the portal out of Georgetown. It's actually a second time in there, uh, already transferring one time from UNC to, to Georgetown, and then spent a year there. Really saw his game expand. So had a, a very low usage, minimal opportunity role at UNC. Goes to Georgetown, and uh, in my opinion, makes the, the most out of what he was given from an opportunity standpoint. He brings a lot of versatility to the table. Uh, let's just take a look for a second, you know, what he did at Georgetown and, and how he impacted their game. So, you know, he was someone who was able to score the ball, you know, averaged, you know, 12 to 13 points a game, impacted the boards, averaging over five rebounds a game, and then, you know, was a really a good shooter. So he is a, a bigger guard, I would say, but, you know, really more of a of that kind of big guard forward type of role where, you know, he is capable of doing a lot of things on the court, can defend multiple positions on offense, can impact the game in various ways. And we're going to look at all of that. But, you know, really first and foremost, let's look at where he grew the most last year. And that was his ability to impact the game as a pure catch and shoot shooter. So being able to find open spots on the perimeter, run the floor in transition and get off open catch and uh, shoot opportunities. So let's take a look at that. So when I look at shooters and I start trying to to you know think about their projectability and their ability to grow as a shooter or keep up the just the same volume and efficiency that they have, I always look first at just how comfortable do they look on the perimeter, how repeatable is their release, and that's something I really like about Styles' game. So he, you know, receives the ball very well. You know, in this clip package, you'll see him catching the ball at a lot of different angles, catching the ball away from his body, bringing it back kind of working off of a jab step and hitting shots. And he just looks really comfortable. It's a smooth release. It looks very repeatable. Uh, and it's an area of his game that that grew quite a bit this year. So, you know, he has the ability, I think, to continue to be a consistent shooter, um, you know, continue to work to expand parts of that game a little bit. And, you know, he's someone that is just going to stretch the floor. So when you, when you have a guy who at times is going to be guarded by a, an opposing team's big, Providing that floor spacing is so crucial, and I think that Styles does just that. So Dontrez Styles was really able to prove his value as a catch-and-shoot shooter last year. Made defenses respect him, made them play him a little differently than perhaps they wanted to on the perimeter. So he had to come up with a counter. So was he able to you know, put the ball on the floor and maybe get to the rim or hit a pull-up jumper? I'd like to focus on the latter. He really developed a really nice pull-up game last year. So we're just going to focus on that, show you a few examples of what he was trying to do and what he was able to do consistently. A lot of people view the mid-range as a lost art. And uh, if it's a lost art, Dontrez Styles has found it. Uh, he was really efficient in that part of his game last year. Showed an ability to to really break down his man off the dribble, get to the spot where he felt comfortable rising up and and firing confidently. So I really like that about his game. I think it provides just an added dynamic and prevents defenses from closing out on him too hard. Uh, I will say, you know, the pri primarily those shots come from when he drives middle. He he mixed in a few more baseline drives as the year went on. But he's really comfortable kind of, you know, getting a small paint touch and rising up and getting there. Now, I will say teams, you know, especially as he goes to a better team where he's going to be facing a little bit more focus on defense, they're going to start trying to take that away a little more aggressively. And he's going to have to have even another counter to this where he's able to get to the rim just a little bit more because, at you know, at this point in time, he's not a great rim finisher and doesn't get there a lot. I mentioned earlier that Dontrez Styles is a big guard. So he is, you know, has some guard, you know, handling ability on the perimeter, but he has the physicality and athleticism of a lot of, you know, modern day college basketball power forwards. So another area he's actually able to impact the game pretty well, pretty consistently is getting to the offensive glass. So, you know, last year he had, you know, several, you know, one or two a game, just put back opportunities. 
So in this next clip package, let's take a look at his ability to impact that part of the game. You know, check, you know, make sure you're paying attention to his positioning, to his athletic ability. That's all stuff that we want to look at. I really love it when big physical guards get involved on the glass. And, you know, there's a reason why they're going to have maybe more opportunities even than other players. And it's all because of their matchup and, and who's guarding them. So when you you know you look at Dontrez Styles, teams that want to defend him have have two real options. One, they can probably put their biggest guard on him, uh, and or you know or one of their better catch and shoot defenders that that is a guard, and he's going to be bigger and stronger and, and more athletic than them on the whole. Or teams can put their you know bigger power forward on him and let them you know try to stick with him and he's going to be a little faster and, and probably just more quick twitch than they are and it just leads to a lot of offensive rebounds and he does a good job. I mean he he does a good job at high pointing the ball, going up quick and explosive and and finishing around the rim on putbacks. So love that part of his game. Last but not least, let's just really focus on Dontrez Styles's defensive versatility. So he is someone that's able to match up in a variety of different spots on the court. He can, you know, be a, a good switch defender because he, you know, he has the ability to switch from a guard to a big or vice versa. And we're going to see some great examples of that in this clip package. Lastly, I just wanted to to highlight Dontrez Styles' defensive versatility. So in the first half of these clips, you're going to see him guarding guys in the post, holding his own, not getting back down. Everything you want to see from a big guard that is guarding a guy who wants to try to post him up. In the second half, it's going to rotate over. You're going to see him on the perimeter and how he has navigated ball screens. So I think that he does a really good job of playing his personnel. And when he's playing ball screen coverage, he's either fighting over the top on guys who are a threat or going underneath on guys that he can beat to the spot who just want to get to the rim. So really like that about his game. Really think it provides you some defensive flexibility on how you scheme things up and how you're trying to guard other teams' best players. So that's really it on Dontrez Styles. You know, to wrap things up and, and put a bow on it, I think he is an extremely versatile player on both ends of the court, can do a lot of different things and, and do them well. He's on offense. He's going to space the floor. Uh, he's going to provide some of your other pieces room to operate. On defense, he can really be that linchpin piece that allows you to say, okay, we're going to switch these screens, but we're going to deny these and we're going to trap these other screens. And Dontrez Styles is a guy that can do all of those things. So you, you don't really have to customize or configure your, your pick and roll scheme any differently because, hey, we have a guy who can, who can kind of be a jack of all trades and make all of those different situations work. I like, you know, his competitiveness, competitiveness. I like that he's able to, you know, impact the game on the boards on both sides of the ball. Uh, I think, you know, on defense, he has some room to get better. Uh, it was just hard to judge, like I said, based off of the team around him. Overall, he's just a guy, you know, it just seems like a tailor-made fit for the third best option on a really good team. Uh, someone that, you know, the spotlight's not going to be on in the scouting report, but someone that comes out and, you know, you're you're surprised when you see he scored 15 to 20 points. And he probably, you know, can score... 12 to 15 very consistently. Great addition. You know, any team I think is going to be lucky to have him and he's going to bring a ton to the table. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good day.